Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to do an Acer Factory E-Recovery, which is similar to the Dell Restore. And I was amazed about how popular the Dell Restore video was. So I've had a couple people um, ask me about how to do an Acer Restore and if that was possible. And it is very possible. And one of the ways is that it's pretty much a lot easier to do than a Dell Restore. And um, I do apologize today because I don't have my tripod for some reason. So I apologize in advance if it's a little bit shaky. Alright? So here's what you do. Now there are two ways of doing an Acer eRecovery Factory Restore. One, you can do it while you're in Windows and after your computer successfully booted up. And two, you can also do it before um, you load Windows. Um, the video might be split into two different videos because um, I'm not a partner, at least yet, and it'll probably break the 10-1 rule, you know, 10 minutes, 1 gig. Oh my gosh, I hate that. If only YouTube would accept me, right? Alright, so I'm going to show you the first way, the easy and most practical way of doing it, which is right in Windows. Of course, you see the My Book here. That's uh, getting to be a star in my videos. So you want to uh, back up all your files and data to it. If you have Vista, you can use the Backup and Restore Center. It, it's it's really amazing. It'll it'll work faster than just dragging it. If you're an XP, I suggest you use um, a third-party um, backup program um, because what I've experienced in XP is that. Um, when I back it up into a file and when I try to unzip it back right into the same computer on my Dell, um, it says the backup file is bigger than my hard drive, which is weird, because my hard drive is 100 gigs and it backs up to be about like 110 gigs, which is weird. So anyways, after you're done with that, again you'll want to... Um, do as I said in the last video, you'll want to uninstall every last um, third party software and almost all software that you paid for. Why do this? Because it'll still register in their servers and their systems that you still have the product activated and you might not be able to install it again with the same product key. And so after you've done all that, if your Acer has um, the empowering technology, which I suppose all of them do, you'll want to go to Acer e Recovery Management right there. It's almost the second to last, however, Acer e, um, e Recovery Management is on pretty much all Acers, however, um, empowering technology is configured differently. So just scroll around and click there. And it says the utility needs to s set up a password before using. Alright, I'll set one up, alright? Oh my gosh, create a new password. And, uh, yeah. I'll pause this for now. Okay, we're back. So I'll just click the e recovery again. And just wait for it, right? Uh, whoops, no backup file exists. And thank you to Windows Vista, it's not responding, right? Ah, uh, crap. Alright, this should go on fail blog. Uh, I'll see you guys later. Oh, what do you know, it came back. Anyways, um, you'll see this window come up. It'll say e-recovery management. And then here you have your backup options. Now, if you want to, you can use the Acer's. Um, you can use Acer's options for backing up all your data before you restore. However, it'll take up almost the same amount of space, and it'll probably even copy system files, and you probably don't want that because it's useless. So what you'll want to do is click restore. Oh, just another note. Um, as with the Dell, it's on a hidden uh, partition on the C drive. 
your local disk. What you'll want to do when you first buy your Acer is when you start empowering technology and you get into the e-recovery management, you want to go to the tab that says burn disk. And once it goes there, you'll probably want to click create factory default disk. When that happens, then you'll have actually some options in case your computer gets entirely destroyed and you can actually boot off of it and probably reinstall again. Of course, it'll require about three to four DVDs to do. So anyways, moving on, you click restore and then you have many options. There's restore from fact restore to factory default, sorry. Restore from user's backup. I didn't do that. Recover from CD or DVD. Nope. Reinstall applications and drivers. Now that is pretty helpful. But you want to click uh, restore system to factory default. Please put in your password. Let's see. Yes, and my password, if you just want to know, it's vagina. This will restore your C drive, alright? And then you want to click yes. Of course, it's only your C drive, so whatever you stored on your D or your data drive will still be safe and sound. Um, you know, it'll be sound like the money you put in your TD Bank account, like I do. Anyways, um, it'll restart and uh, it'll boot up back into the Acer recovery console and when that happens um, it's pretty much effortless you'll just leave it from there on and then you'll have to enter information to set up your computer um... jeez I forgot what I was going to say oh okay I remember what I wanted to say what I wanted to say was um... yeah uh... It, it's probably an Acer thing which I really don't like which is one of the reasons why I don't really like Acer apart from build quality but if you can see here it says 160 gigabyte hard drive that's true but when you buy it from Acer Acer automatically splits your hard drive in half into two partitions your C partition and your D and um, the D is pretty much blank and you can't boot off of it oh it says XP weird was Vista but anyways um uh, your C partition is the only one you can boot off of and so that's what sucks so pretty much the only usable space I have on here with Windows is probably about 70 gigs so right so much for that right alright and you see the recovery console come up and it's a lot of waiting really because it'll format the disk and everything else see right there and very similar to the um, to the Dell Restore. Now I do not know what kind of um, software or program Acer eRecovery uh, management uses. Um, I do know that on the Dell Restore it is Norton Ghost. I have no clue what is on Acer. I'll probably have to check into that. And just because my ADD is click, uh, kicking in right now, you know, there. You have Monster versus Wimp. Alright, back to the stuff, right? So we have about four minutes left. Okay, less than a minute. Now I'll probably count to that down. Oh, whoops, someone just signed on and off aim. I'll mute it. Um, yeah, so I'll just count it down once we get to 10 seconds, alright? 10, 9, 8, 7, oh, what? what? 3, yeah, that is three, two, one, zero, yay, 100%. Um, it's going to reboot again, and this process involves rebooting a lot of times. So we'll copy the files over and over and over and over and over. I don't think you want to watch this. It's boring. It says here, restore finished. Click OK to restart the computer right there, right? So just click OK. And then, once that happens, you'll hear the signature loud startup from an Acer. Like, the extremely loud fans, like... <gasps> yeah. Hear that? You, you see what I'm talking about? And so, yeah, it starts up again. 
and you have to enter a Vista setup, right? So you see Vista signing up. No, boo, Vista, you suck. And uh, yeah, this will happen, right? Takes so long. Please wait a moment while Windows prepares to start for the first time. And now you see the whole Vista startup screen, right? Yeah. And it says, please wait. And that's the normal when you have Vista, right? It's always wait, 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 wait. Okay, the mouse finally comes up after 15 minutes. Alright, let's wait even more, as we usually do. So, the system restarts.